Bonjour! No, it, it's me, Connor. I'm not French. Just a quick flashback to uh, Jacques Labard from our Skyrim series, because today I'm playing some Morrowind, um, the third Elder Scrolls game, specifically with the Tamriel Rebuilt mod pack. So, uh, well, mod. I don't think it's a technically counts as a pack. Let's begin anyway, and I'll explain along the way. Each event is preceded by prophecy. Without the hero, there is no event. In the waning years of the third era of Tamriel, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent under guard without explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role he was to play in that nation's history. Okay, I'll stay quiet for the intro. They have then... taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. There's not much voice acting in this game, so I'm going to do a lot of reading in silly voices. But if you like that kind of... Oh. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Typical that when I'm explaining, there's not much voice acting. We have like one of the few bits of voice acting in the game. But uh, yeah, there's not much in this game. So I'm going to probably be reading out and voicing quite a lot of characters. Which I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Anyway, our character's name we will come up with later. I'll just say, I'll tell you later. We can, we can change this. That's not going to be our name. This is Job. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. So I was saying I have Tamriel Rebuilt installed, which basically doubles the size of the world in this game. And I've got a few graphics right. mods installed. Comes That's pretty much all. This uh, is oh. where you get off. Come with me. Thank you, sir. So we're here we are, arriving by boat with our pal Jub you in Morrowind. Do what they say. Uh, well, I say our pal. I think that's the last we'll see of him. Bye, Jub. He does turn up in Skyrim, I think. But, um, yeah, that's, that's the end of him for now. He also has that iconic Dark Elf voice that I like to do in my Oblivion streams. Um, Get yourself up on deck and let's keep this as civil as possible. Okay, okay, no need, to, no need to be rude. I want to turn the voice volume up or the music down or something because I can't hear these people very well. Voice up, music down. Not, I mean, I love the music in this game, but, you know. This is where they want hear you. People. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Thank you. Good evening, guard. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Okay, so here's our character creation. Now, I was thinking about this, and I want to play a race that I haven't played before. And, well, one race I've never played is Wood Elf. I still haven't played them, in, like in all my years of Elder Scrolls playing. So let, let's build one. Let's get a look at our face options. Um... There's a weird mix of wood elf faces here. Some of them are quite beastie looking and some are quite normal. Like, um, oh god. Look, <laughs> it's like there's this guy and then this guy on acid. Like his pupils have just dilated completely. Um, I mean, that's an okay face. I want a beardy face. Um, I, I actually, I like the horns as well on some of them. So I think I saw a good face along here. This one I think I like, because it kind of fits with our theme of playing an elf who looks a bit like an orc. So yeah, let's go with that. And then let's um, give him a nice haircut. I think this one, this one matches his beard and it looks quite sleek. So let's go with it. Great, I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Certainly. You'll notice that the camera, like, dropped because we're a wood elf, so we're actually shorter than a normal citizen. See, we only, like, come up to his waist. All right, let's go in here to the census and excise office and speak to Sosius Ergala. Ah, uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. 
Wars. Okay, we're going to fill out the forms ourselves and create a custom class because this will be a lot more fun. So, the point of this playthrough is to show off the uh, Tamriel Rebuilt mod, which essentially, the original Morrowind is set on the island of Vardenfell, but this mod builds on the mainland as well. So we can travel to the mainland and explore entire new areas that, as I said earlier, it doubles the size of the game. So we want a class that encapsulates that because we're going to go on a tour of the mainland and, you know, show it off a bit. You know, like Tony Robinson when he walks along those canals and on television and stuff. So what would you say Tony Robinson's career is on those things? What is he? Um, he he's like a travel blogger, but, you know, he doesn't have a blog. He's on TV. He's a travel clogger if that's a thing. But there's no televisions either, so we could be a travel logger, I guess. Or we can come up with a better name for it. So let, what's our important skills? We need, um, mercantile is important, I think, first and foremost, because we need to negotiate our souvenir prices. We're going to be visiting, like, foreign markets and buying strange trinkets. Um, okay, another major skill we're going to need is um, athletics, I think. Where is it? Because we're going to be doing a lot of walking. You know, feet are going to be getting sore. We don't want um, that slowing us down. Um, okay, what else is good here? Acrobatics? Yeah, we want to climb rocks, you know, go up mountains, jump over streams, frolic gaily through the wilderness. It's a good skill to have. Um, I think we need a, a main weapon as well. And I think we're playing a wood elf, so I think a bow and arrow is probably our best bet there as a main weapon. And maybe we should have a main form of magic as a defense, like, um, what's a good one? We'd have Ill illusion is governed by personality, and I think merchantile is as well. That might be good. Though conjuration lets us summon up, like, defensive creatures and everything, which could also be good. Um... Oh. You know what? I think maybe illusion. Let's go with it. Why not? We're Ill a, an illusionist part-time as well. Our minor skills. We need a secondary weapon. Something for close range. I think a spear would be a good one. Um, Just because I never really go with spears. We need an armor type. Um, light, medium, or heavy. Um, light might be best from a purely statistical point of view. Uh, though heavy armor could also be very good. You know, just, just to make things different. Um, oh, it's a, it's a tough call. We could also go unarmored as, as well, but that's no fun. You know, you need you, it's nice to look cool. I can't decide between light and heavy, so maybe I'll go for medium and, you know, go happily down the middle. Um, I think speechcraft would be good to have. Um, alchemy. Because we're going to need to, like, um, mix up potions and uh, cures along the way. Do a bit of bear, bear grills in. And I think security would be good as well. Because we're going to have to go into things to fully do log them in our travel logs. We need to, like, actually. Do you know it's better than travel logger? We're going to be an urban explorer. And instead of speechcraft, let's go for sneak. And we will be a stealth class. I think that's pretty good. Urban Explorationist. I think that's a better way to put it. Um, our favorite attributes will be personality is a good one and agility. I think that's fair enough. Um, we don't need... Do we need a class description? I'll just say... Like what Tony Robinson does with those canals. I don't know. And let's go. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Okay, this is the astrology question. Um, there's a lot of options here. If I remember, a good one is the shadow. You can turn invisible for 60 seconds, which is very handy. Um, the steed, you can go fast. I mean... Maybe we need that. We're going to be doing an awful lot of walking. So 25 extra points into speed. We'll build them up eventually. 
but it's good to have them from the start, um, just to keep us moving. Uh, let's see, the tower lets us open locks on touch, which is also very good. Um, but we have skills for that, and we have illusion for invisibility. I think the steed, we're going to be fast. Speed goes a long way in this game. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. And now we will come up with our name. Um, we need a, a wood elf name, like a Bosmer name, that encapsulates our character. Um, what, what's a good Bosner, Bosmer name? Um, the, a lot of them end in goth. There's like Fargoth and Aingoth. And um, maybe we could be... Oh, mate, let, let's not go with that. Let's go call ourselves... Hubert. I, I like Hubert. I think that's a good elf first name. Hubert. Wrigglefingers. Is that okay? It, oh, it's been cut off a little bit. But yeah, that's our name. We have a stats menu now. Show your papers we can to view. the captain when you exit to get your release. Oh, it fits all in here. That's fine. Hubert Wrigglefingers. And these are our release papers, our ID, our ID, which we need to get out here. Continue through to the next building and talk to Sullus Gravius. I certainly will. Um, so yeah, our, our mission, I guess, is first of all, we're going, we're going to try and make a beeline for the mainland and do a bit of exploring. Uh, I'm going to have a look around here first along the way, though, see if there's anything useful we can bring. Because we're going to need some supplies, so I might as well grab anything that's not nailed down so we can, like, sell it. Because we will need money to fund our our journey. Like, yeah, everything from these sacks. These are all very... Well, they might be useful. They're, they're probably good for our alchemy, actually. Um. Okay. We should learn to do combat picking up this dagger. Let's see. What's this note? Triska! Don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw by morning. Gansiel. I guess Gansiel's not getting their dagger back. Um, or their lunch. Or their candlesticks. Or their lockpicks or cutlery. Um, all of this is being donated officially to my cause. Funding our intrepid um journey you see we got here we were it said at the start that we were a prisoner what's this the firmament i think it's like a book of horoscopes i'll take it with me but maybe just to sell um i don't think these look expensive oh, they're quite expensive actually um oh and we can lock pick this chest in this game you have to like equip your lock picks oh sorry yeah i accidentally went to third person mode there which is tab um, there we can get a look at our beautiful features. There you go. That's what passes for an elf these days. Um, right, let's just pick this lock and help ourselves to a bit of gold. And um, also we can equip now equip this uh, dagger that we found as well. What was I saying a minute ago? Oh yeah, we were released. It said it said we're a prisoner. From the like empire or whatever who was shipped here I like to think the prison we were in was metaphorical it was the prison of dull travel documentaries and we've been sent here to liven that up and write about an exciting new place okay we've got a magic menu because we found a magic ring in that barrel that was the engraved ring of healing so just to show you how magic works I basically click a power over here and I can just break it out like this. Boom. Magic. And boom. Stab. And that's Morrowind in a nutshell. Those are all the controls you really need to know. <laughs> no, I'm joking, of course. Press E to talk to the captain. Select topics to ask about them. Don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. I don't think anyone could dislike Hubert. But let's see. Celis Gravius. Please. Here you go. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. 
I am Celis Gravius, but my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. And I see I can click on these blue words to ask more about them, or pick them from over here. Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim VII himself, and I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you are a free man, but before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. This is my brief. The Emperor is my client. He's funding this, um, this travel log. Um, this package came with the news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cassades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Quarter Club and ask for Caius Cassades. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. Brilliant. Well, that's all we have here. Um, so, Caius Cassades lives in Balmora, which I think is about here on the map. Now, we could walk this way, which is what they want us to do. But what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to head to the mainland. See all this land? This is new from the mod. And we're going to follow it all the way around to the top. Out this way. Maybe over to Solstheim here. Um, you might know Solstheim. It's in the Dragonborn DLC from Skyrim. And then we're going to come all the way back down here and approach Balmora from the north. Or that's my plan. So uh, let's go. Okay, press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. We'll take a look. Um, I have to give... Oh, what's my name again? Hubert. I have to give Hubert a voice. And he is a uh, an elf. So I think he should have a sort of a Celtic accent. And I've naturally got a Celtic accent. And I don't want to use my own voice because that would be boring. So I think we'll make him Welsh. So let's... <clears throat> My orders are to go to the town of Balmora in Vardenfell district and report to a man named Caius Cassades. To find out where he lives, I should ask in Balmora at the corner club called South Wall. When I find Caius Cassades, I must give him a package of documents and wait further orders. I think that was alright. So let's go. Oh, here's Fargoth. He's a bit of a meme. Well, but, what um... is this about? <clears throat> He, they st he owns the ring we have. Are you the one the boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at this time of day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly Let's Shake Down Fargot ritual. An engraved healing ring. Family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? Oh, that voice is hell. <laughs> How does Fargoth do it all day? <clears throat> yeah, take it, Fargoth. It's yours. He's a Bosmer, like us. We have to be nice to him. You found it! Amazing! Thank you, thank you! You are now my favorite friend. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Ariel, who runs the trade house here. Go see him. He'll be happy to see you now. Perfect. Okay. And I think we can save now as well, which is good. So we have to go see a reel at the trade house over here. Just to get some supplies for our journey. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's see what they've got. There's a crab over there as well. Hang on. No, you know what we'll do? We'll get a proper weapon and practice on the crab. Um, a reel. An honor to be sure. Welcome to a reel's trade house. I barter for goods or coins. I also have a small collection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions? Our most popular scrolls? Now, look, he really likes us here. 90 out of 100. Let's barter with him. Obviously, word of our good deeds has somehow got around. Um, does a real want to buy all of these plates? Because it would be... And these buckets... Because it would be a real help on our journey. Um, basically to sell everything we've got here. Because we need to pay for our tickets to the mainland. We need to like pay for food and accommodation. We need to... We, we actually do need to buy our weapons and armor as well. I had forgotten about that. Um, but yeah, plenty of expenses. Um, it's an expensive life being a journalist. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, basket too. Oh my god. We stole a lot of things. The people in that census and ex excise office are not going to be happy when they discover this. <clears throat> okay, so we've got 332 gold worth of stuff to sell. So we need a bow. Some arrows. Um, I want a spear. A halberd. Oh, that's a type of spear. 1 to 3. That's also 1 to 3. And 5 to 20 for thrust. They're both the same. What's the difference here? This one is cheaper. I think um, that is why we will buy it. Uh, we also need some armor. Medium armor. Those are light. Um, what, what, what have you got in medium? We've got a chain coif. Chain cuirass. Um, these are all heavy. Is that all? I don't think they have a lot of medium in stock. Terrible shame. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's just another cuirass. Um, okay, well, that's fine. Um, let's ask him for a little bit extra money. 138? Come on, because we're your friend. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, so let's stick all this stuff on. Um, the arrows. The bow. And yeah, let's go take care of that crab. Where is he? There he is. Can we get him from here? I think he's too far. He wasn't too far. Oh my god. Look at that. Crack shot Hubert. That's why they call him Deadeye Wigglefingers. Oh, fantastic. Born born for archery. Right. Well, anyway, let, now let's go. Um, the quickest way to get to the mainland is, I think, we have to get a boat from here to Ebenhart and then from Ebenhart across to Old Ebenhart. So um, we, we're going back to the boats, I guess. I don't think we can go through the census and excise office again. So this we're going to have to, like, hop the fence or lockpick it. Can we lockpick it? Or will we get in trouble? Uh, no one's looking. Hang on. I'll go into sneak mode. This is how lockpick works. You just keep trying until it succeeds. There's no mini game in this one. Which is kind of nice, actually. I, th I think it feels like a real genuine exper like experience in lockpicking. Like it's down to your character and not abilities, not to your own personal ones. Um, let's see. Yes. Sentius Veros. He looks a bit like Bronn from Game of Thrones. You know, what's his name? Jerome Flynn. So, what's he got to say? I'm Sentius Veros, shipmaster of the Coast Guard. I row irregular patrols round the coast, spotting the census and excess cutters. cutters. For a fee, I could take you along the patrol to one of the regular ships, which will take you to your destination. Brilliant. Okay. Um, we're going to go to Ebenhart. Thank you, Bron. That was a terrible Bron impression by me, by the way. I'm under no illusions that, that I got that, that completely wrong. And finally, Short Nevosi Hlan you decide. can take us to Old Ebonheart. What brings you here, Bosma? Here we are. Oh my goodness, I'm finally here. Finally, in old Ebenhart, ready to start me documentary career. So much opportunities. That's that's what he's thinking. We um, could use old a Hubert. Break. Look at this place. It's huge. Brilliant.